One incredibly important motion that we don't think nearly enough about is spinning. The Earth spins all the way around once a day. Planets spin around the sun. TV hosts spin around in their fancy suits when the script calls for it. Thanks, script. But there's one very important spinning tool that makes many things in our lives possible. Here's one more spin, totally unscripted. Pow! Ever stop to think how the things we use every day are actually made? Think about your car and all the metal parts that have to fit together to make it run. Then think about the precision needed not only to replicate all those parts, but also to make them interchangeable and reliable. Turns out there are specific machines called lathes that do just that. The Henry Ford Museum's head curator, Mark Gruther, showed me one of the first truly precision lathes made by the hands of a man who strove for perfection. In junior high, I took shop class. Oh. We called it industrial arts. Right. It was long, long ago, so I cannot remember what a lathe does. <laughs> well, you can think of a lathe almost like a potter's wheel. If you think of a turntable and you think of a piece of clay on there being shaped with hands, think of that on its side. So it's a way of spinning work and then changing it. Basically, a lathe is a machine that rotates metal or wood around a horizontal axis while being shaped by a cutting tool. With the lathe, you could turn this into a screw. Yes, and then you could use that in another machine. There were lathes that were used for making components for clocks, and there were certainly lathes that must have been used to machine the wooden shafts and other components in windmills. Once you start to get the development of other engines, yeah, lathes are very, very important for the manufacture of components. This is the world's oldest surviving industrial capacity precision machine tool. This right here? Yes, yes. It's not just the oldest surviving lathe. No, it's not that at all, but what, what this is is a product of the work of a fellow called Henry Maudsley. Henry Maudsley was a 19th century British tool innovator, and he's considered the founding father of machine tool technology. He stands absolutely at the beginning, if you will, of the application of precision and precision manufacturing in the Industrial Revolution. Did Henry Maudsley actually use this lathe? Absolutely, he did. This actual lathe? Yes, this exact lathe. And so a lathe, by being able to create things that are more precise, can help you create machines with moving parts that work better together and are more efficient. This machine itself is precise. It is, and I think that's a very, very important point because precision has to start somewhere, and this is one of those starting points. Like, how do you make a lathe without a lathe? Right, so in the case of Henry Maudsley, you simply take dogged hand craftsmanship to a much higher level than anyone else is willing to do. Today, lathes can do many different things on both small and large scales. Maudsley was working on tools that could make parts for other machines. Those other machines would have the same high level of precision that he had handcrafted in the initial machine. And he's taken it to a much higher level of perfection. Henry Maudsley may not be the most famous innovator in the world, but his hard work has certainly helped to shape it.